homies, I'm HGZ. And if you don't know where you are, you're in the zone. <laughs> yeah, man, you're in the zone now, bromies. I'm HGZ here bringing you an update. Um, we did a couple of changes. Some two plants are out of here and uh, they're outside finishing off in the sun. We'll be harvesting them probably in about 24 hours or so, maybe tonight. I don't know, we'll see. But it is bright and sunny and hot outside. It's nice inside here. We got 52% uh, humidity, 79.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, they're just having a good old party in here. Anyway, let's start right here up front. This is the HGZ Frosted Pies. This is my cube, bro. This one is in week six. I don't know, bro. I stopped counting. But uh, she's in week six here. She's looking absolutely gorgeous. She's full of freaking nuggets. Blood sites all over the place. She's just full of nuggets. And blood sites all over her. She's growing really nice. This is my cube, bro. See, these are growing in nothing but a cube. No soil, no buckets. It's plain old rock wool cubes. Over here to the left is uh, clone number two, HEZ Frosted Pies. These are exact clones. We took them at the same time, but this one is a week behind. I didn't put this one in until a week later. And she's looking absolutely gorgeous. Just full of buds all over the place. Ooh, look at that shit. That shit is nice. Woohoo! That's how we roll. She is looking absolutely gorgeous. And it is a week behind. It's a little bit taller than its twin sister over here. Just about maybe six inches taller. But um, this one will be harvested first, probably another two and a half, three weeks. Anyway. Let's go to the back. Okay, right here is my ice cream cake. And I'm really, really happy with this run. Um, I did a lot better. Last time I harvested it around seven or eight and eight weeks, like they suggested, and it was a big mistake. Never go by what they say. Do it, go by what the plant says, not them, the breeders. So, but she is freaking on fire. I think I'm gonna double my freaking weight compared to my last run and uh, you know I'm just really excited about this she is nice really nice she looks even better at night we got the HPS off right now it gets off that ugly yellow light but the plants love it in flower back here we moved the uh, HGZ frosted mini pies to the back this is where the um, I other ice cream cake was is looking fantastic as you can see frosty as hell putting on some amber and no stamens as you can see and absolutely amazing on fire baby oh man look at that oh somebody stop me <laughs> hgz frosted mini pies we got three clones of that in the veg head anyway Let's go outside, see what's going on. Here we are outside. I um, put them outside. I showered them off with the hose. And uh, we're going to be harvesting them either t tonight or maybe tomorrow after work. I don't know. We'll see. But just to give you guys an update, here's the ice cream cake. This one is in week 10. And she's looking absolutely beautiful. Frosty. Mm, mm, mm. I could taste it right now. This run right here is much better than my last run of it. Much better. Oh, the buds are a lot more dense. Tons of frost. And that's how we do it here in the zone. Branches are snapping like crazy. This one just snapped right off. Looking beautiful. Next to it, Tylo G Lemon Dunks. We gotta rescue this one, put them out of its misery. This is the one I forgot to water, fill up the bucket. It went dry for over 24 hours and she did not like that at all. But she's looking pretty. 
real pretty so it's all not wasted I believe this one's in week eight or week nine now the leaves are all crusted up half of that is due to me not putting water in the reservoir it went completely dry and this is the good good looking leaves homies gromies <laughs> but they are just frosted all up looking good Tylo G lemon dunks we're going to be running this one again in the short future and uh, I'm really excited so these are going to be harvested in about uh, 24 hours 48 hours here is the my Hermie we put it outside I didn't want to get rid of it and I harvested some of the sacks on it I don't know if there's anything left let's see but it's in flower same as the other one there we go there's a right up in here are some more flowers that are left and those are the ones I picked I'm surprised I even found one I thought I got them all but uh, I picked them off put them in a little little plastic bag and I pollinated the other plant with them. But that's my HGZ Frosted Mini Pies. We have Femme Seeds coming along the way. And this one out here, I don't know what it's gonna do. It's gonna re-veg or what, it doesn't matter. Its services are no longer necessary. And I'll just let it sit out here. Maybe we could pull clones off it if it goes back into re-veg. So we'll see. Okay, here Let's we are on the three by three. We're underneath the Mars Hydro 3000 blazing away. And this video has been brought to you by me. <laughs> no sponsors here, baby. It's just me. <laughs> anyway, here's the three by three. I'll give you guys a little update what's going on. Here we have a clone. This one is the Bruce Banner, Beast Banner number three. That's in my outdoor video grow. My homie Gromy's outdoor video grow. And that's a clone we took. And uh, it's doing really good. I haven't seen any signs. Of, uh, there we go. Holy crap. There we go, Gromies. Those are not worms. Those are roots. <laughs> we got roots popping out. They just popped out, too. I checked this last night, and I didn't see anything. So we, we got lucky there. First beginner's luck. That's how we roll. <laughs> anyway, back there, that is the big bud, sativa dominant one. And uh, this one couldn't handle the new... I was giving it my hydro nutrients from the flower room because I was too lazy mix, to mix up nutrients. And uh, that's the price we pay. It uh, a little bit too much for it. But uh, we got it back on the grow now, mixing it up quarter strength, and I'm feeding them that. And uh, they seem to be doing much better. The new growth looks absolutely much better than that right there. So... You know, it happens. My, you know, it's my first time really growing in cubes. This is going to be a cube grow. So I'm really excited. Everything in here, except maybe two of them. Anyway, to the left of it, here we got the re-veg. This is my mini frosted pies. These are in re-veg, and they're all clones, and they all have their roots. They've been rooted a while now. You see them splatted out there. And uh, we're just right now in that skank re-veg mode which I kind of hate, takes so long, but you know, it is what it is. Right here, this one here, I must have cut that one earlier than the others, because this one is no sign of flower, and it is growing now. New growth and everything, and uh, definitely not flower. So I must have definitely picked that clone a lot earlier. Up in front of it, we have right here, the Mendocino Bubba Whip. I put that in here on 7-1. That's what it's looking like. She's really looking good. I also gave it the uh, nutrients from my hydro for my flower. And uh, it's got like a little bit of spotting on the leaves. I don't know if you could see it, but you know, everything in here was flushed out with pH correct water. That was stable. It took it takes me freaking three days to stabilize that pH in that water. So, you know, but it does a great job. You know, the results show at the end. Anyway, up front here, this one's new to the zone, Gromies. And check it out. Monkey pies times ice cream cake. Right on, man. <laughs> this is the one I took a bud from my failed feminized seed program. The buds were freaking loaded with pollen. And I said, hey, what the hell, man? I saved like an ounce of freaking big fat nuggets. 
and I just cracked it up over a branch of the ice cream cake grown in my last one, not this one, the last one. And uh, we had seeds. I was a little bit surprised. So uh, this one popped really good. This one had one of those freaking helmet heads that just didn't want to come off, those armor fucking helmet heads. And I popped it open, but for like three days now, Gromies, I don't see the uh, leaf coming out yet, you know? It's been sitting like this. It was really yellow. It turned green, but it, that whole, both of those little leaves were yellow. And now they turn pure green, but I still don't see no freaking plant coming out of there other than these little nursery leaves here. So we'll see. I got a couple more seeds. I didn't get that many, but I'm, I'm really happy. So anyway, alrighty. Thanks for watching, Gromies. I'm HGZ, and I'm out of here. Stay frosted.